All right, Maggie Espinosa joins us once again this morning, our travel expert. And if it looks like we're on the uh, the deck of a pirate ship, well, that's uh, by design. You just saw the yeah. guys from Black Sails. We wanted to go on a pirate adventure, Maggie, so we called you. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and by the way, you got the puffy shirt. I know I did. <laughs> I put this on just for that. That's so funny. Okay, lots of pirate things. I'm going to start locally. Okay. San Diego Maritime Museum. They have two different pirate events. One, they have pirate days. It's usually in May. They haven't chosen the day this year, but they're going to have all sorts of stuff for kids. They have face paintings. They have games. They have songs. They have bay cruises. They they have all sorts of things that you can Ooh. do with children's costume contests, all those kinds of things. Okay, so watch Very for that popular. coming up in May. Coming up in May. They'll announce it on the website. Then the other thing they have is um, where you can have a pirate party. Okay, now how fun. <laughs> this really actually sounds really fun, doesn't it? You could it? do it for a company party. What a great company party. Well, they set up the boat and they have like tapestries over tables and international food stations and they have treasure chests full of loot and they have grog and music and all sorts of stuff that you could do while you're at this party and you could dance and maritime dancers and all that. So they really make it a lot of okay, fun. Okay, so that really sounds fun. So check with them on that. Very fun. Okay, then you go down to Seaport Village and Seaport Village has a thing where it's called a murder mystery, all right? And so the premise is you get a group of people together. You pay $25 a person. Right. It's usually like a group of 10. They have a scenario where the head pirates all met and they were trying to do the Pirate's Creed and they went to bed at night and they woke up and one of them was murdered. <laughs> <laughs> and so you and your group have to figure it out with clues and with different riddles and codes you have to break and you have to figure it out oh, see, all this, through this Seaport kind of Village. Oh, this so much fun. Isn't that fun? And, and you have to go around Seaport Village while oh, you're yeah. solving this. So it's like a scavenger hunt. It's like a scavenger hunt. You have check-in points and then you figure out who it was that murdered. Okay, that yeah. kind of thing is really, really, really fun. Yes, okay, okay. so that's San Diego. So now we're heading south to Cabo San Lucas. Okay, Pirates Cabo, how perfect is that? I, I've seen the ship sailing around you down have? there. I okay. have seen that before, but I've never been on it. Well, it's a 96-foot ship. It's an old pirate ship that was used in the movies. It's called the Buccaneer Queen. And they have two different pirate events. They have one in the afternoon where it's a treasure hunt. You go out, they go up and down the coast. They take you out to Los Arcos. Right. And then they go <laughs> Dump to you West. off on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> you walk you the plank. You have to find your way back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very realistic. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go snorkeling right. in a sanctuary, and then they have tacos and margaritas, open bar the entire time. Okay, I, I just keeps getting better. I envision <laughs> <laughs> over yep, yep. the edge. Okay, and that's the early cruise. <laughs> 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 well, then they have a nighttime one where basically the whole thing is tacos and open bar margaritas. And when you're out in the water, all of a sudden evil pirates board the ship and they have a duel and they have sword fights. And then everybody has fun and you eat and you drink. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, that's Cabo. Yeah. That's Cabo. So from Cabo, I found something over in North Carolina, North Carolina Maritime Museum, which I think is so cool. Blackbeard ships sunk you know, off uh, the coast there folks, from folks, Beaufort. Yes, folks just don't realize. Realize that <laughs> I, I don't know why they don't really get this, but we had pirates all up and down the East Coast. Oh, yeah. I mean, and, and this particular museum, what happened is it sunk in 1718, and they found it in 1996 in 20 feet of water. This is, this is really Blackbeard ships. So oh, these yeah. Are... It's called Queen Anne's Revenge. And so what happened, they found it. They brought the artifacts. They put them into this museum. They have the cauldron. They have shackles where Blackbeard would tie up his prisoners. They have gunpowder, cannons, bells, everything off this ship. They have it at this museum. Well, starting this year, what they're going to do is they're bringing even more artifacts up, and they also are doing a thing where they show you from ocean floor to museum door. They show you how they take them, they clean them up, they get them ready, and they put them in the museum. It's not, fascinating. Maybe not quite as much fun as uh, getting roaring drunk and falling off a ship <laughs> in Cabo, but... <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it still sounds really fun and interesting. <laughs> yeah, more of the, the latter, the interesting. Yeah. All right, and then last but not least, where you would where you would not expect it at all is a pirate ship in Big Bear. In Big Bear? In Big Bear on Big Bear Lake. And How did I miss that? Time Bandit. <laughs> and what happened is it used to be in Bubble Island in Newport. Okay. And so somebody was living on it. Well, a group of people bought it. They took it up to Big Bear in 1998, and they said, we're giving pirate rides. It's a one-third replica. <laughs> <laughs> this, this sounds like the worst pickup line ever. <laughs>
<laughs> we're giving pirate rides. In Big Bear. We're in like, Big how Bear. many pirates were in Big <laughs> right. Bear? But anyway, it's a one third replica of a 16th century ship and it's 43 feet long. They play Jimmy Buffett music and what do they have? I bet they drank a little. <laughs> <laughs> just, just guessing. Grog. <laughs> they have booze. It's the only ship in Big Bear that allows that has a liquor license. Ah, and well, so see, there's your hot out. tip right there. <laughs> <laughs> so they take you up for an hour and a half tour. How did I know that Maggie Espinosa would come up with four, at least four pirate adventures and they would all be really cool? That's great to see it. So if, it. if folks want more info, go on my website, travelwithmaggie.com. Travelwithmaggie.com. Maggie, it's always great to see you. Good it. to see you Thanks. too, Mark. Okay.